¿No dijiste esas dos invitadas? Sí, sí, aún falta, pero, pero sí. Cuando quieras, cuando quieras. Ok. Eh, Hola, Javier. Sí, Mari. Esperemos un ratito, esperemos unos minutitos más. Ok, se está conectando la gente. Sí, sí, por eso todavía estamos poquitos, entonces... Bien, okay. esperamos un ratito, un rato. Un rato. <risa> ok, ok, ¿y hace, haces esto cada semana, Javier? Todos los lunes. Todos los lunes, durante cuánto tiempo. Es, son, es todos los lunes, es un curso, es un curso eh, eh, luego de cada presentación que que depende de, de, del tiempo que es libre, que se quiera tomar cada uno, pasamos posteriormente a un, a, a un canal eh, privado, que es la clase, donde eh, realmente esto es un, un curso de, 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 de tesis para los estudiantes, de, eh, es un curso internacional, o sea, en este, eh, tener gente eh, que está conectada en, por todas partes del mundo, o sea, no, no, no es solamente italianos. Uh -huh. O sea, que tener gente que está en, en la India, tener gente de Europa, mucha gente de Europa, tener gente ¿Y lo de. Sigues, lo sigues todo el y son diferentes horarios. Para nosotros es, 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 es a la mañana. Estamos acá a la mañana. Eh, bueno, Europa todos tienen la misma hora. Y, pero tenés gente de, de India, de China, Ajá. de África. De África. Eh, si querés, si tenés tiempo y después querés compartir, vas a conocerlos. Tal vez ellos quieran hacerte algunas preguntas porque, porque bueno, algunos tienen... Eh, intención de hacer una tesis teórica, pero otros este, están con una tesis de proyecto. Así que, eh, nada, eh, también hay, hay gente de, de Centroamérica, de Brasil, eh, bueno, eh, realmente, y por eso es en inglés. Uh -huh. Pero tú justo en, en Venecia lo haces en inglés de todos modos, ¿no? ¿Cómo? El, el curso que das a, a, a Venecia, a Lima, lo haces en inglés también, ¿no? Sí, pero este, este, eh, no, 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 ese no. El curso que, ese, ese curso es en italiano, pero... Esta es la primera vez que, que se abre este, es un máster, eh, ah. pero, bueno, los italianos le dicen magistrale. Eh, y no, 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 esta es, eh, es, un, es un curso que es, 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 es nuevo para la facultad. Uh -huh. okay. Y especialmente para estudiantes extranjeros, pero pero hay también italianos. Ahora hay italianos anotados y que te están escuchando. Bueno. Ok. Bueno. I think, I think we have to start to speak in English. Eh, All right. Uh, good afternoon, Mirto. Uh, thank you very much to, to share with us uh, this presentation. Uh, well, uh, she has, uh, she is Mirto Vitar from France. Paris, and she has a very extensive resume. By the way, uh, uh, I would like to read 
if you are agree a presentation of uh, Dominique Boudet about uh, the work uh, of Mirto. And it says, the architecture of Jean Mac Ivos is her partner, and Mirto Vitar is measured accurate in its insertion and impeccable in its execution. But this is only one facet of their work. Their perfectly controlled artifacts are not just functional, rational objects. They are also very precise efficient and active urban sensors. They are designed to elect listing emotion and fuel our imagination. A study of their major buildings and projects show how, while it's working within the discipline of architecture and its fundamentals, plan, section, facet, and maintaining the focus on functional requirements. These architects open their projects up on new and what might be called functional dimensions. Well, then we have to say that they won many awards. There are so many that uh, we can public them <laughs> with this with the record of, of this presentation. So uh, it's a pleasure to be with us, Mirto. So the, the space is yours whenever you want. Okay. Thank you, Javier, uh, for the presentation. Thank you also for inviting me. It's a pleasure to share something in those uh, difficult times for all of us. And I hope everybody is okay. Uh, the title of um, the present the talk I'm, I do today, I took it directly for from the biography you just read uh, an extract because it says um uh, but maybe could i that's just a minute i'm going to to share the i'm going to try just a minute just a minute just a second. Don't worry. She said the the particular. Tu veux partager? Oui, partager l'écran. So I was saying this title uh, is a uh, title of the monography, the last monography we did, and it uh, expresses uh, uh, very well the, the at, uh, at least the type of work we we do. Uh, we used to work mostly uh, on the cities. Uh, we we are not uh, the architects of the virgin landscapes, uh, uh, the slope, uh, and the uh, I would say the 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 sea as a result. Uh, we mostly built uh, until now um, uh, European cities 
means um, dense cities where every square meter uh, occupied or free uh, is accounted for. In France, uh, thanks to Napoleon and before him, the Roman, we got a very huge and strong administration. Uh, and every year we used to make it uh, fruitful. And as a result, a very complex system of uh, regulations. Um, for example, all the foreigners, architects uh, who used to come and work uh, in France have difficulties to manage uh, uh, that kind of uh, complicated rules. And mostly of them used to deceive us when they built here because they uh, don't know how to manage such such difficulties. Uh, if you want to learn how to deal with constraints, uh, welcome to France. Uh, in a most general way, uh, I would say that um, uh, there is an increasing normalization of our society. Uh, Mirto, Mirto, excuse me. Uh, si. You have you have uh, your screen in a preview presentation. Can you click the the to to see the whole screen? Your image. It's it's in a. Uh, just a minute, I'm going to my technician. Say it uh, again. What, what do you want me to do? Yes, you have a like a preview presentation. This is a PowerPoint, no? Isn't it? So uh, just click to see the whole screen, the, the full the full image. We have the, the slides uh, at the uh, one side of the of the image right now. It's this is just a it's like a preview presentation. <laughs> We we can see we can see very very well, but uh, if you click the uh, the yes, is it better? You you don't see the full screen? Yes yes, to see the full screen. But you don't see it now. We 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 can see it very well. But we also see the, the 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 preview slides at the at the right at the left. You need to launch the presentation. You yeah 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 we, we launched it. But just wait a minute. We can we can just check. Okay. Do you, do you see a full screen now? Yes. It's, now it's okay. okay. It's okay. okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Excuse me, Mirto. <laughs> you did well because um, in our screen it doesn't appear that we, we don't see no. that. No, okay. now it's great. It's very okay, much nice. Right. So I was yeah. saying that um, we, um, uh, uh, that in a global way, we have today an increasing normalization of our societies. I was just saying that before it cuts. Uh, standard setting systems aims 
to allow an objective assessment about what we produce. For example, um, if you have a pack of cookies, you can tell how much sugar, how much fat, uh, what kind of packaging, etc. Uh, the problem is uh, that um, the, um, this uh, technocratic expertise uh, is applied also now to architecture. Uh, and as uh, with uh, your pack of cookies, uh, a lot of experts that judge uh, our work all the long time, will analyze the cost, the surfaces, the level of uh, greenness, uh, the balance of carbon. And also we have, we, we can notice also a very strong trend with all what deals with the social issues or any participatory process. So, so that's our very strong trends at this time uh, we think they are not currently uh, applied to our uh, discipline which is architecture and who needs uh, maybe more complexity in the way you can judge it if you see for, ex for example um, our last um, Pritzker prize uh, like a Tom Vassal Pritzker Prize, you will notice that the media uh, mainly um, highlight the virtuous process and, and, and some uh, objective elements, but very few uh, finally uh, noticed about the real quality of the whole architecture, reducing the value finally of the architecture to a kind of, of items, separated items. And of course, nobody speaks about aesthetics, and that would be, I would say, peccato in Italian. Uh, as if aesthetics were, was a lonely pleasure, uh, instead we used to think that uh, aesthetics should be uh, for all people and should concern everyone. Well, in our practice, we design with few rules, but they are uh, quite strong. One of these rules, the first one I would say, is to try to find uh, in a project uh, the intelligence, what we say the intelligence of the project. The first thing we do is to uh, ask the question, uh, is the question the people is working, uh, our client, is the question our client asks to us, is it a good question? Uh, is, it, uh, is it the relation question uh, that we are asked to answer? You will notice that many times it isn't, because the people who ask to work for they know their needs, they know the needs they have, but many times they don't know. Uh, uh, they, they used to give us a solution with the question of the needs, and then the solution is not relevant with the, the, all the richness uh, could be. Uh, they used to reduce uh, the question to, to a solution. And we always ask, the question, is it the good question? And when we are sure we are uh, the good question, then we try to find the best solution. This is the way we always do. And this is why we finally lose a lot of competitions because uh, it's complicated to, to answer something nobody is waiting for, but that we think this answer is better than the question that was given to us. Um, after, oh, sorry. Um, the second um, rule we apply is to try to link all the issues of a, of, 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 of a problem, of a problem, or to link every items. Means 
uh, we consider that if you do an addition of all the answers you do, and you addition it, it, it doesn't make architecture. It's not enough to make architecture. And we must try to transcend the necessities and try to link all that to produce something uh, uh, more complex and more uh, with much more richness. Uh, in a way, necessity expresses a need, uh, while architecture should rise to desire, uh, which are not the same temporalities. Uh, but maybe am I too abstract here? And we are going to start with a presentation I want to talk to you about. This, we are here in, in Paris, in the center, very center of Paris. And uh, the, the the project I want to present to you is an old project. It is a project uh, we did um, quite um, uh, about twenty years ago now. But uh, this building is still alive. Uh, he it has the capacity to survive because we gave, we tried to give it the keys to survive on the long run. We are very, uh, um, we like very much to think that um, the long time is, uh, is, is possible for our buildings. The other, the other, the, the, the reason why I wanted to present it to you today, it's because um, this is a place for confinement. This is a hospital for teenagers, uh, which is located I told you, in, in the site of a very huge hospital. Uh, and as you can see, the, the name is Maison de Solène. Solène is a girl who committed a suicide. suicide. Uh, and it is a place here where uh, you have um, psychic um, adolescent with uh, psychic problems, not only psychic, but most of them. And then it is a place where uh, part of the people are uh, closed, locked uh, inside the hospital. So you, you uh, have. Excuse me, uh, Mirto, excuse me yeah. again. Are you running your slides or are we watching the same uh, slide? This this black one when the workers. No, I am running. I am running. You uh, don't see. Me? Okay, because <laughs> uh, we are still we are still with the first with the first well, one that well, you. I'm going to my technicians. Just a minute. <laughs> I yes, I supposed that you are running. So this is. Uh, Ils sont sur la même photo depuis le début. Do you see any change now? We we I see the the, the first one. I, I there are not other a new one after this black with the workers and the Can you see? Uh, yes, the this is the, yes, the first, the second, and then all right, all right, now it all right. works. Okay, Perfect. thank you very much. And it's <laughs> Merci. All right, all right. <laughs> Fermer la porte, 
So, I was speaking to you about that building, Maison de Selene. And uh, this is a hospital for teen agents. You have um, uh, a place where everybody can come every day and just a consultation to see some medical people. You have also a day hospital, means um, people coming for all the day long, but the night they come back to their house or home. But you have also a third category of people, um, which is um, adolescents who are uh, locked inside and they can't go outside at all. And I said I presented to you this building because in our situation, we are maybe a little more um, preoccupied by the kind of uh, problematic to be in place. So I wanted to show how we deal with that problem that it was 20 years ago, we didn't know we had to, um, uh, to, to, to live with that today, but uh, it was like before. So, um, Louis Kahn said some, something, we do not build for a person, but for a kind of life. And then the question that we have to answer here was typically what kind of life this hospital would uh, welcome. Uh, in the 19th century, at the middle of the 19th century, about the first um, part of the 19th century, um, studies have been done on, of uh, the way you could uh, do uh, jails. Uh, and that kind of schema you, you are seeing, maybe I hope you see it, uh, express the idea of an organization made uh, to uh, monitoring uh, all people uh, in the best way, uh, the more easy way, uh, not anybody could escape. And um, uh, it, this is, it has been extended uh, little by little uh, to uh, all types of, uh, of buildings, for example, you can see schools, but mostly hospitals, a lot of hospitals has been uh, designed in that, for, in, in that kind of organization, as Michel Foucault, the philosopher, noticed it very well uh, in the 70s. Uh, this is the, the schema of the controlled city, controlling city. It is a panoptic uh, schema. And our program, 20 years ago, was made in the same kind of uh, situation. They asked us to make possible the way we could um, monitor uh, all the people and quickly be present to near them. So that's what our program, a block, means block uh, and uh, a very concentrated organization. But if you see the place where we are, you can notice we are on the boulevard, the boulevard du Royal, which is a huge uh, Paris boulevard, beautiful Paris boulevard. And we have here 160 uh, meters of linear on the boulevard. And we have in front of us the Church of Albedras, the Hospital of Albedras here, which is a very beautiful building, one of the most beautiful churches of Paris in this one. And here, uh, behind our, our site, we have uh, all the rest of the hospitals. So we have uh, a huge facade on the city. And you have also the huge opportunity to, uh, to, three, to, to offer uh, we're on facade on the city. When uh, Louis Kahn said, uh, we do build for a person but not for a kind of life, uh, means that um, a people can change. You can 
you can wait for one people the, if if they want change. The building is not changing. The building is staying. So you must try to imagine a category of people representing, you know, the essence of that kind of people to be able to make the building in accordance with it. And in our case, we thought that um, uh, the programmist, the man who did the program, was surely the people who could change in the years. Today, for example, nobody would have done that kind of program anymore. But uh, the adolescents who live here, they continue being uh, a, a characteristic group uh, of kind of people living in this building. So we have to imagine what are the qualities we would apply to a group of adolescent closed. And then we said that that should be for the adolescent the openness, the openness to the city. What would be uh, the first, the first um, uh, concept we, we apply to all of that? The will of openness when you are closed. Not surveillance, by, by, but openness. Then we stretch the block. They asked to, us to make, they, the block was here. We stretch it on the long facade. We took all of the linear we could take and we developed the building in a face to face with the city and face to face with also the church in front. And then we dig the building so we could uh, make here like a public space that leave the city enter inside and that permits to uh, uh, open freely in a large way in the panorama. Then we decided that uh, the circulation of the building should be on the facade because this way the people inside of the building is uh, working in the same dynamic with the people on the city. So you can communicate in, inside and outside. A physical relationship exists then between the, uh, our building, our closed building, and the open city. Um, a building is, uh, in our free uh, spirit, like an organism, and it, to be alive, uh, it must be able to exchange with the exterior. And often it is the facade that makes possibilities in exchange. As you can see here, we have a corridor here, and you have on the other side all the rooms. And here they are the rooms to sleep, but you have also a uh, biggest room to you have workshops, you have restaurants, you have anything. They are all on the south, um, and on the north, they are open on the corridor on the city. This is an example. Uh, this is an um, um, how do you say that? A stepwell, an Indian stepwell. Uh, and this photo shows how making people, make, uh, using the moving of the people, people used to go for water down the stairs, can, um, can qualify urban space. Uh, how the movement of people is able to qualify that. In Lille, uh, well, the building we built here, uh, it's a museum in Lille, we use the same device uh, using uh, the moving of people uh, to connect the building with the outside 
this is the interior. You see the corridor and you see here the old museum, the new museum and the way they connect by the movement of people. To expose people on, um, to use people, uh, the, the search of a relationship by, by people and the movement of people doesn't mean you expose people, people's privacy in the public space. If you see that building, which is uh, the Palacio Kirikati, uh, the Palladio, uh, in this sense, you can notice how interesting are the different degrees of intimacy you can read in this building. You have the fourth floor who is completely open to people. Uh, it is the urban place. Uh, and even this palazzo was built on the urban space. So it is the world, the, the urban space, open to everybody. And you have two lodges that uh, offer a space who is private but open on the public space. And then in the center, you have the more private spaces. So you can have a, lot, a, a kind of degrees of intimacy. Uh, it, it doesn't, it, it's not a question of materials, it is a question of mental organization of the places you work with. Here, it's the beginning of the construction of our hospital. So you can see here the place we remain free, we remain free for public use to like uh, uh, interstitial play space between the private and the public, uh, completely public place. Here you see the organization with the corridors on the facade. And you can see also something that is uh, very recurring in, in our project, which is the use of the backlighting. Means we use, uh, as I told you before, the movement of people, but we use also the movement of the sun inside of the building. And here, for example, we did a double level at the place of the lobby of the hospital. And then we did a, a double transparency. Then the sun from the south comes inside of the building and it moves all the day long inside of the building. And maybe the most beautiful example I know from that kind of utilization of the sun uh, would be the Pantheon of Roma, uh, where uh, the building becomes like a, uh, uh, like um, um, how do you say that? Like a, a clock. So you you can read every hour of the day uh, because of the pattern of the uh, of the ceiling. You can read any any hours of the sun running all around. Uh, back to the hospital. Um, here, you, we, I wanted to show you uh, the way we could control part of the intimacy of uh, people by uh, putting a, a green film inside of, of the uh, the ver, uh, vidrio. How do you say the glass? The glass of the of the facade. So that, as the as the natural uh, ground uh, goes down, we we made some uh, degrees uh, to get in our level, and it's very beautiful because in the morning uh, the adolescents wait here. They are waiting before enter. They wait here. And they mixed with uh, the other that I from the school, which is near, just near here. So it's a meeting place here. When 
medical staff told us that never the people would, would stay here because they want to be they didn't want it to be seen and it's not at all like uh, it doesn't work like like they told us it is it's really works like a meeting place everybody stays here in the morning before and that's a big joy to see uh, all the people uh, um, sharing on, 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 on this space who becomes the de fact an urban place a really urban place and the the esplanade itself uh, is uh, used to make a kind of distanciation between the uh, public of, uh, of the city and the hospital. Anybody can go here, it's open, but in fact, most of people wait on the degrees, and this is most like a time to enter, like a, a sort of sass between uh, public and private places. You can see here the space of the cafeteria, which is very near of, 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 of the city. You, it, you could say, you couldn't say you are here in the hospital, you could say you are in a kind of cafeteria open to the public. It was completely open at the beginning, but now uh, I think um, for um, a problem of security, they they close the cafeteria. You can't go. Any anybody is not able to go now inside. But at the beginning, it was the cafeteria. So here you can see inside, outside, and the place of the cafeteria. Yeah, the first floor. The hall is the first place, the first contact with the public, any, the first place where the, a teenager can come and ask to meet uh, the, medical, um, the medical people to expose its problems in a very freely way. Here you can see what I was telling you about the sun entering the building. And you see the relationship between inside and outside. Up, you are up, you are in the corridors here. And you can see people down, you can see the city there. You can see also what is happening in the same building because you see the building from the building. And, uh, you can exchange a lot from one to the other one place. You see how the film, the green film, uh, avoid a direct confrontation with the outside. Here are the place for sport. So they are opening on the south side, on the hospital side. Here is to learn how to, to get a beautiful uh, with the hair, the maquillage, etc. Here is a, a bedroom, a double bedroom, and you are in transparencies with the hospital. But you can see here you have some sunscreen. You will see better in the other one here that avoid uh, from the outside you could be seen. So it's a reflecting mirror. Not, not completely mirror, but partly mirror on this facade, who protect from the sun and protect also from, from the view. So you have a double facade here. You can open the window, but, but as people is locked in the rooms, they can't open more than 10 centimeters of windows. But because of transparencies, they don't suffer from being a clock in the rooms. So you see here, then instead of having a garden down as it was uh, the problem 
uh, initial program, we did an esplanade down for public places and a private garden, we put it on the top of the building. And here also, again, you can see always utilities on the human place. We can plant here some tomatoes, some olives. You have olives here, even in Paris. And so um, the adolescents keep a contact with nature also. And they cook also. They, the tomatoes uh, from here are cooked and eat by the same people. So it's like a, a medical um, workshop to, to, to deal with uh, food. And from there, you can see the beautiful, magnificent view we have in Paris and the Val de Grasse, I told you before. And also, it's important you can see, but you can also be seen. So you are not uh, out of the city, you are inside of the city. And this is the last view uh, where you can see uh, um, uh, a little bit all the complexity of the device, uh, how we uh, in one, in this only image, we have a little bit all, all, the, all the complexity of, of that. You have the double transparency here. You see the other side, the sun comes from here. You have the simple transparency. You have the transparency with green. Uh, you have the reflect of the trees on the glass. That gives you another kind of transparency. You have also a mirror you can see here. There are mirrors which are on the doors, and when somebody opens the door, it's made a, a flash on the outside. It makes a movement on the facade. And you have, for example, you can see somebody crossing here. On, you can see the green. So outside, inside, we mixed. Most we can, uh, the whole element make a better communication, better interaction between exterior and interior. That's all, thank you very much. J'ai perdu toute connexion depuis un petit moment, je pense. Ouais. Depuis un petit moment, parce que je suis arrivée à la fin et j'ai plus personne. Alors ça. Fernanda, are you are you talking to me? Your microphone is is closed. Javier, me escuchas? Sí. No, no. I, I think uh, that uh, the presentation uh, probably the talks. Maybe now we can start with the discussion or with the... Yes. Okay. Uh, Mirto, the... all right. Mirto, I want to introduce you to Fernanda de Mayo. Uh, she is the director of this chair. Uh, so, hello. Hello, Mirto, are you, are you there? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am there, but did, did you hear the presentation or not? Because I couldn't... Yes, but already it is already finished, isn't it? Uh, I, I I think I had no more songs at the end. <laughs> well, uh, no, we we 
I, I can see you if you can if you can open your your camera because I can hear you very well. We hear uh, and we see all the presentation, uh, but uh, in during during it uh, the, the 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 audio was uh, not very clear. But I, I think that uh, we can we could we could. Uh, uh, it, it was okay, no problem, no problem. Sometimes we have uh, just some noises around you. I don't know if you have another microphone uh, open, but uh, it was okay, don't worry. Okay. Uh, I, um, I was just uh, uh, saying to you that uh, uh, I, I, I would like to introduce you to Fernanda. Fernanda de Mayo is, is, is the director of this chair and uh, of this course of the master and I don't know if you are uh, available to to for some questions from the from the audience. If somebody wants to to make you a, a comment or a question, when when is this work? Uh, finished, Mirto? Well, I told you it is um, about 20 years ago now. It's, a, it's an old project, oh. but it works, um, so it works very well. It's, uh, it's very, uh, it, it didn't change in the years. Where well, you have many, many works, uh, I know that. And, and why, why did you choose this? Well, I explained it. Uh, maybe, yes. uh, yes. maybe I, I'm not sure you get the, the entire uh, conversation totally because at the end, maybe I think it cut before, and maybe at the beginning also because I explained that. I yes. told you, I, I told you, I chose this project because uh, of a confinement. Uh, I realized uh, when we were confined, because it was the first confinement, uh, the more um, difficult for us here, well, now we are at the third, but in the first confinement, we were completely closed at work. And then, in my own home, for example, I have windows, many orientations, but I have only one on the street. And I noticed always on the window, Lives on the street because I needed to see people walking to see what happened, what was happening on the road, and that made, that made me think that the uh, the idea we had uh, for this uh, hospital to open it on the city was sure a uh, good idea for people who are uh, close inside. Yes, and uh, uh, I, uh, I hear that. But uh, my my questions my question was uh, unfinished. The 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 the, uh, the 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 question was uh, if you uh, I know that this is um, from twenty years ago, and this is a hospital. Uh, are you are uh, are you going to do the same? the same interpretation of the city uh, 20 years after, uh, also with, with the new context that we have, uh, thinking uh, that we are uh, with the hospital and, and, and you know, Whatever it happens, and the, and I don't know how things are in in Paris 
no, but uh, uh, hospitals are, are a very sensible uh, uh, buildings right now. Are you, uh, uh, so the question is if 20 years uh, after, uh, are you, do you think, are you going to, or you are going to make changes uh, with this project? Well, um, I think uh, if I had to answer, do we open the hospital or do we close the hospital? I would answer, we open the hospital. Uh, do we uh, offer a public space to, to the city or don't we offer a public place to the city? I say yes, we offer a public place to the city. And then we put the private garden up on the top as we did. Uh, if you tell me uh, we offer a place for people to stay because in our place, not only the people uh, outside came uh, to meet on the steps, but also all the neighbors, because there is no public place uh, near there. Uh, and all the neighbors used to come in this place to meet. So I would say, yes, of course, we would do it again like that. And if, if I say, if I say, if I hear uh, people from the hospital, um, and, and that thanks for all that quality of the video. Yes, for sure, I would do it again. I think yes, I would do it again in the same kind of 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 of, of, of disposition, organization, certainly yes. And also, um, maybe I didn't explain that very well, but we try much people with me. To, to get possible our building could uh, uh, stay on the long run, stay on the, on the long time. Uh, we, we do it in the kind of abstraction that needs um, things to, to change uh, all the long time, all, all the time, but if it's integrated, but, uh, permit the building <laughs> complicated for me, but uh, we look for a long time, the building in the long time, and it's also the way why I wanted to present that old building because we think uh, it has the force to resist the time. And we like we like things that resist the time. Uh, all the attempts I show you uh, are example from a long time ago. And they all resist to have the kind of good time. Mm -hmm. Okay. And 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 another question is the the city uh, uh, had changed after the construction of the building, the the the, the neighbor. How 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 was the how was the, the context after the 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 the, the 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 building or the hospital was was done? Well, um, the city was uh, already there and didn't change a lot. It was the only place, uh, the land we had, it was the only place to build. All the rest was uh, already built, so it didn't change a lot. It changed. And what changed is uh, the dynamic of the boulevard. You can, um, we, we do like a respiration at this place, which is uh, like a, an important place because you have the church and in front. Uh, but, but it's integrated. We have rules very uh, uh, in Paris. You have rules who integrate everything in, in, 
in the existing, we have uh, the levels and the, and you have to be integrated very well in the, in the context. And we are, we are very well. So it's not very visible, but uh, uh, it's just finished the facade of the site of the hospital on the city. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, well, uh, I don't know if there is anybody else that wants to, to, to make a question to Mirto, uh, the, you can do it if anybody wants to. I want to make a salute uh, to Fernanda de Mayo. I saw her image five minutes ago, but I didn't have the vision to speak to her. Yes. Morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Yeah, is it, it was. Uh, uh, it was very interesting your uh, presentation, and uh, but the effort uh, <laughs> that we are trying to do with uh, Javier is to um, involve the students to make some consideration no, on this uh, topic that was launched by Javier through this towards this research lab talks on the genealogy of imagination but also on on the topics that you as speakers individually are uh, putting in evidence, such as architecture in the city. And so, for example, for me, as an Italian architect and as a UA professor, of course, when I've seen this title, architecture and the city, no, uh, suddenly I, I thought to the book of Aldo Rossi. So uh, for me, for example, is what was in, in your personal if there was in your personal uh, path in the architecture uh, some um, something that uh, comes from this book or from that period uh, of uh, that period that means that in France you had also uh, I don't know of course, now you have also uh, in the past years many architects who questioned on the topics of this book, Architecture of the Cities mm -hmm. by Aldo Rossi. So, this is my curiosity in this moment. <laughs> well, um... In France, we are very um, uh, 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 interested about the context. We, we, maybe because our cities are very dense, France is one of the more dense cities in, in the world, I think. And we are very interested in how, um, how to. Um, to, to link with the context. I think that's maybe uh, a, a, a real characteristic of, uh, of, of people who, who, who work inside, inside the, the, the historic city. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, when Javier asked me uh, if our building changes the, the, uh, the surroundings, of course it changed because it's another uh, ambiance. Uh, but it, it remains very, very quiet in the in, in, in the environment. It is it is really a, a way to insert things inside of me, in a very precise way inside a, 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 an existing context. And often we have also a relationship, as in this case, with uh, classical architecture, and we have to think how to, to, 
connect you with that kind of work. Or you might meet and lose um, um, that kind of thing. Like, but Aldo Rossi had his own way to think it. Thank you. And then, uh, but this is just to open the discussion also to Javier. What do you think uh, about the legacy of this COVID period in the, in the construction of the public space in the future of the cities? I mean, uh, do you think that this idea of the transition to the digital uh, 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 skills will be will have then uh, some remarkable um, uh, effect on the real city or do you think that then will be back everything in the way we knew Well, um, I, I don't know what will be the future, but uh, I, 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 I think uh, people will always need a place to meet, really. Um, you can see very strongly now. Uh, the most people is suffering this time is not to have a place to meet. And they have, of course, a uh, way to communicate with the uh, uh, internet. Uh, they have everything, they are very uh, linked with everyone, but they suffer a lot. And uh, most of all the young people, which is uh, uh, most of all the young people, which are used to, to have communication with the internet much more than us, but they suffer a lot not to be able to have places to meet really physically. So we think um, very much the, the city should re remain having public space and this is because more and more uh, the public space is um, disappearing with the private space. Um, less and, less. and it is why we are We, we were very much in this project as we, we show to you uh, to keep the public space free and on the ground for uh, European use. Is it that, was that the question? Yes, in part, yes, of course. So we can also say that probably uh, we will have uh, differences probably in the age of the people no because uh, probably for the older people this transition to the digital uh, it it's in some way also good no because i know many of the grandmother that today knows how to work with this uh, uh, and how to be connected with all their friends in the uh, in the different part of the world through the iPhone and through these um, teams uh, and things like that. But uh, I can see that, for example, my daughters are suffering a lot. So I would say that uh, uh, go back to the real cities for them is a way for the needs of happiness, no? the, the needs of being again Uh, happy of uh, sharing with other people the physical uh, contact, the physical feeling, I don't know how to say. So probably as architects we should try to uh, to reflect on the fact that uh, in the past the dance, the hyper density sometimes was seen as a sort of danger No, instead now is something that we want, would like to have again, no? This yes. intervention, it, it is, uh, mm. so probably not only the, um, the project of the houses will have a sort of uh, new jump, but also the, uh, but also the, the project of the public spaces probably in a different way, I don't know. But 
I'm curious to know also among the students how they are living in this moment. Uh, what are they thinking can be? They don't speak. Uh -huh. Does anybody wants to make some question? Hello, from... good afternoon. All right. I would like to ask something and to say something. It's also regarding the building with the private garden on the rooftop. Um, what I personally think regarding this era is that we we need, of course, this physical interaction with other people. And you know this now we are already for such a long time, um, most of the time in contact just by a digital device, that we, of course, need this interaction. But I think as well the relation with uh, the flora uh, so to be outside and to have the space to um, uh, literally as well uh, to, to breathe. So I think related with an urban context, maybe that such a garden uh, should be maybe more present and I was also curious, like why should, why if you place it on the roof and you have the function of using it and then in France, so it's not the whole year probably, but what is what is the function, for instance, from an olive tree that you place? Is it something that you use as well? So are you going to look to such a functional uh, kind of functional places as well um, that you take in, in consideration that everything is maybe eatable and what does the even pollution of the air with with the products that you have, because you see in Holland, for instance, they try to do many greenhouses on buildings in Rotterdam, but the quality of the result of the product is very poor. Yes. So, how how does that function? Well, um, you you ask a lot of questions, and I don't. Um, speak so well to understand all but if if we take it by, by little pieces it, it will be easier uh, the quality of the tomatoes of the roof first okay yes. well uh, it's not a problem for us uh, if they are good or not good really the real problem is that um, people uh, living in that building has mental uh, ill, uh, mostly about food. You understand what I see? They no, mostly have, about? Uh, about problems of, uh, of nutrition. Nutrition. Oh, nutrition. Ah, okay. So uh, the garden we put there on the top, the principal um, uh, uh, role, role um, el papel, comme, comme on disait, le, the function, the, fo the first function of that uh, garden there are uh, to that young could um, touch the food, could do it themselves, could bring it to the kitchen, could cut a tomato, could eat it. You understand? It's like a process, medical process. Uh, it's really the sense of that. Of course, it's also a joy for them uh, to be able to. Uh, to be outside and to uh, uh, and, and to have a contact with nature, but it, it's it's it has a pedagogic uh, a medical function first. Um, they must reappropriate uh, the, the vegetables as something that you can eat. That was the first. As for example, the mirrors we put on the doors of the corridors, the mirrors has also a, a medical function because that kind of adolescents uh, have to, uh, to, to, to be seen. They want to, they, they have a play with mirrors. So it's very important, they own image. Uh, and the mirror is a therapeutic function. 
the the medical staff works with mirrors. You understand there are some kind of things we introduce as it was not medical, but that at the first it was a medical uh, uh, goal. And then uh, the garden at the beginning should be down on the floor. But if the garden of the of the young is on the floor, you need to close it. You understand? You need to put uh, walls not to, to escape. They couldn't escape. Then we didn't want to have uh, at the, uh, at the ground floor, at the floor of the city, we didn't want to have uh, something that closed. The, uh, so we put the garden up where it's much more beautiful because you have the sun also on the floor, it's the north. Then up you have the sun, you are free and you are protected there. Instead of on the ground, it's, it's more than more than a garden, it is a kind of esplanade, which is uh, an interstitial place between the city and the private place. So it's a kind of uh, intermediary place, not really a garden, but much a kind of, that permits somebody to take time to enter to hospital, not to be brutally, uh, in the city, but you have the time to come and to enter. And that is very important. Uh, um, not, it's a kind of a, a place of kind of freedom place. Well, is, it, it, was it good, my response to your answer question? Yes, oh. uh, yes, it's really clear. The intentions are really clear. Thank you. Hello, uh, Mirto. Can I can I ask you just a precisation? Uh, this is an hospital for a food disorder disease. Um, in this hospital, it is all the adolescent problems. Okay. okay. Uh, before, but most of them, most of them, are uh, psychological uh, disease, and before that kind of place exists, uh, that young people uh, you were um, uh, put on um, psychiatric hospitals with adults. And yes. it was very, it was terrible. So it's why Mrs. Chirac uh, was the one who wanted to create that. We worked with her uh, and she, she, she she made an association and she, she kept money, um, money to pay that. Um, she, it was really very important for her because she had also a daughter who had that kind of problem. And it, she was very sensibilized uh, to that kind of problem of issue of problematics. So uh, she, um, in a very strange way, uh, the program, as I told you, was not at all uh, adapted to, to, to what she, she wanted. She didn't want a prison. She wanted, she, she said she wanted a hotel for, for, for the children. She, it was, she, she didn't want a prison because the, the program was made like that. Um, and this is where I think the function of the architecture is really important because I, as I told, uh, uh, People know what they need, but they have no the, the way to, they, they don't know how to express the, this need. And we architects uh, uh, have the possibility to, to, to explore uh, better uh, what, what is the potential of a, of a place, what is the potential of a program. And uh, for me, it's uh, the first uh, thing we do in our project, but it's the first important of the project is to, 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 really, uh, to, to really give its importance to, to that kind of, the, of the, what we name the intelligence of the project. 
Thank you. Is there another another one? Last last one. So after this, we can say goodbye to Mito before we say goodbye. Goodbye to you too. <laughs> Okay, Mirto. No. I think there is uh, the, uh, the okay. Uh, so uh, there is no more questions, and so just we. Uh, I like to 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 thank you very very much. This is a very difficult word, you know, to talk about. The, you know the the. The, the thing was uh, that we are now sharing a, a class with students from different contexts. So, but we are with the same problem. So, um, in the in the other classes, we have uh, architects uh, from South America. In the next class, uh, we are going to have. Uh, people from India, you know very well, Nandam, and 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 just uh, thank you, thank you very much for your presentation. I hope uh, we can see you in in Venice. I hope that <laughs> next time to to. Um... To, to, to join there once more because it's a little tiring to be always uh, uh, enclosed, little tiring. Okay. <laughs> well, Fernanda, if you don't have another question, we can leave free uh, Mirto and okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, you very much. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye, Mirto. Bye. Nice to meet you. Nice. It was a pleasure. All right. Bye. Well, uh, for I don't know if we can if uh, we can go to our another channel to continue the class. Looking that this is the last class before the the workshop. So we can organize the the rest of the class in the in the other channel. So uh, see you. Um, right. Javier, can I yes. say only something that uh, today I just sent the application uh -huh. for a book on the research lab talks. All right. Uh, uh, for asking a, finan a financial uh, support for a book mm -hmm. on these talks that should involve also the students and their work. They, they work in the future months as architects, yes. as uh, uh, thesis uh, students. So um, I hope uh, that we will have this uh, the support mm -hmm. and that we can also have at the same time the theoretical part written with the, all this uh, um, speech made by all these in, in, very interesting architects and uh, by you and uh, but as another part written by written or uh, designed by the work of the students, and this, and I want to communicate this to all the class and also to our guests in a way and to the guests of the future. I think that at the end of.
April, April, we will have the answer. Okay. But I would like that we are ready just in case. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Fernanda. I, I hope we can do it. Yes, uh, me too. So, okay. see you, and I send you the application I made, which is, of course, a draft that I have to imagine using uh, what we have now, okay? okay. But okay. that then should be uh, redesigned by you and the students, okay? Right. If we right. want the finance support, okay, the financial support. Okay. okay. Thank you okay, very much. Okay, perfect. See you. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Well, see you in five or ten minutes, okay? Okay, okay. Bye, bye. Bye. Bye, okay. Ciao, Anessio. Ciao, Kin. Sì, sono io. Ciao. Forse papà, papà se ne è andato. Sì, ci vediamo dopo per la riunione. Sì, sì, appena finiamo. Se vuoi io ti, ti, ti scrivo su WhatsApp per farti sapere Grazie. come abbiamo finito. Però sarà, comunque sarà verso, verso le 5. Perfetto, dai. Va bene. Così avverto anche Elisa, che dobbiamo avvertire anche lei. Certo, sì, 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 sì. sì. Va, Va bene. Grazie, a dopo. Ci sentiamo dopo, ciao. Ciao.